Hi there, folks. Hand over the turkey. What? I can't go back to my wife without a turkey. Oh, yeah? Bet that thing's not even loaded. You just used your last bullet. Running on empty now. Brian, give him the turkey. Setting aside that there are clearly both of these things in both, if you were really to separate the two, wouldn't you say sex in movies and violence on TV? It's almost like you're prioritizing the rhyme scheme here more than the common sense. First of all, taking an intro song in a cartoon at face value is definitely a sin. And second, why does the order even matter? It works either way. Sponge cow! Now see, that doesn't make any sense. First, cows don't live under the sea, let alone in pineapples. And second, his name is Bob and he is a sponge. Sponge Bob. So technically this should be Cow Bob, which honestly is probably the name of at least 157 ranchers already. A whole bunch of bullshit. You wanna tell me what the hell happened to our Thanksgiving turkey? Uh, apparently you deep fried and ate the entire thing while drunk? That seems like a lot of efforting for a drunk guy. Especially this drunk guy. Stealing a pumpkin pie? Maybe. But a full turkey? I mean, the turkey could have already been cooked, so they didn't actually have to do anything with it. And even if it wasn't, this is a cartoon. It doesn't have to make sense. Well, if they're expecting a turkey, I'll just put on Evan Almighty for them. Even though they're clearly making fun of it, just simply reminding me that Evan Almighty is a movie that exists is a sin. A whole bunch of bullshit. Hello, love. Let's have a swear. Considering Mr. Cap lives in Northeast England, why does he have a distinct London Cockney accent? And yes, that's the thing about this joke I decided to point out. Pointless nitpicking is pointless. Did another car come through the shrubbery after them? Because there is a much wider distribution of shrubbery damage now than there was when they went through it initially. That's actually a good sin for a real continuity error. Well done. The water completely killed my phone. Here, give me yours. I throw mine at a duck. Look, we all know you have to conveniently eliminate the phones from the equation, but if it's not gonna make any sense, could you at least try to make it funny? I agree that this joke isn't really all that funny, but unfortunately he mentioned how it doesn't make sense, and that's kind of the point. So my hands are tied. I hope my dad's not watching ABC. Because you don't want him to know you're gay or because you don't want him to see you get murdered by giant balls. If we're going to do terribly tasteless gay humor, let's at least have it be a little less confusing. Discount Jeremy is too sensitive to handle offensive humor cliche. Damn it, Peter, that was our only way home. Well, that's where you're wrong, Brian. Free bus bike. That you were only able to snag because the bus driver chose to wait until you could get the whole routine out before taking off. Discount Jeremy takes a cartoon at face value cliche. Where the hell are they with that turkey? Hi, you've reached Brian Griffin. Calling your dog before you call your husband. To be fair, this decision actually makes sense. Oh great, you broke the chain and now we have to walk. Broke it? He demolished it. Have you ever seen a bike chain? You need to blow torch or bolt cutters to get through those things. Even if it breaks, I highly doubt it shatters like it's been dipped in liquid nitrogen. And even more pointless nitpicking. Just keep picking those nits. I can't believe we got robbed. And Peter got shot. Three times. How is he still walking? Discount Jeremy, you know what? You already know what I'm going to say. Just ding it and move on. Turkeys do not know how to operate gondolas. I would know. I've tried to train several. Skip. Hey, it's Thanksgiving. Shouldn't you be in Detroit losing a football game right now? <laughs> Discount Jeremy sends something he likes or doesn't like. Cliche. I don't know, man. Just ding the sin bell. The man of the house killed the turkey for Thanksgiving! Yeah, but Chris was passed out upstairs when Peter and Brian got home with the turkey, so what was the initial reason he was bringing a shotgun downstairs? Who knows, and who gives a shit?